this first year of uh, the transition from the New Music at ECU Festival to the New Music Initiative, and that first year just being completed, we've now recorded a piece by Travis Alford. So students who premiered that piece in the past now experience a recording of that. We premiered a piece by Aaron Brooks. That piece was commissioned last year. And now in this first year of uh, the fully realized New Music at ECU Festival, uh, students have worked together to choose a composer to commission. And after lots of listening to many, many composers, they determined uh, that they wanted to commission James Moberly from the University of Missouri, Kansas City. Uh, and Jim has met with us via Skype to determine instrumentation. And we've also uh, had a large Skype meeting with uh, 100 students uh, in attendance to learn about the commissioning process. The students aren't simply playing pieces that have been written recently, they're working with composers on pieces that are being written expressly for them. They're collaborating with composers who are visiting. When Chris Grimes was here in January playing his recital with Zach Bjorken, uh, Chris really wanted to reach out uh, to our students in some new ways, and this often happens with our guests. They want to come and try something out. It's something I encourage when I work on uh, the arrangements for their appearances with us. So Chris played a piece with tape up in a dining hall, up in uh, Todd Dining Hall on the hill, a um, sort of flash event. And this four-year cycle, which involves the students in every process of the creation of a piece, begins anew each year. So this is important because all of our students, regardless of their area of concentration, come to understand the role they can play in the ongoing tradition of music. Not just playing what has been written, but playing an active role in the creation of new music. That is the initiative that we want to bring to all of our students.